Welcome to the Volkswagen SUVW Post Game Report. Here now, Liam McHugh. On a frigid night here in Green Bay, another dominant effort by the Vikings defense. Final score in this one, Minnesota 16, Green Bay nothing. Liam McHugh back here at Lambeau. So for the Vikings defense, they pitched their first shutout since 1993. That game at the Silverdome. On the flip side of that equation, Green Bay shut out for the second time at home during this season. As for game balls, well, Stefan Diggs on offense, he's receiving one. On defense, Harrison Smith, two interceptions in the game. He didn't make the Pro Bowl, but he gets a game ball, and he's with Michelle. Liam, thank you. Two interceptions for Harrison Smith tonight, and this is the first Vikings shutout in 24 seasons. How would you describe the mindset this defense is playing with right now? We just love to play. You know, um, there's always going to be ups and downs throughout games, throughout seasons, and we love those situations. You know, be able to kind of dig in and battle it out, coaches, players, everybody. You guys are an indoor team, technically. There were some questions about whether or not you were weatherproof playing in this extreme cold tonight how do you think you answered those questions i think we did all right zim uh zim makes us practice outside sometimes so uh you know he gets us ready and uh you know just came out here and like i said we just love to play and you got to play in front of a lot of vikings fans here tonight you'll see him again next week when you play against chicago in week 17. <laughs> I said to you. Woo! Guy. that's your guy xavier rhodes so you and Xavier will play at home again next week. What about the prospect of having a playoff game at home and maybe even a Super Bowl? We're not going to get that far ahead of ourselves. Like I said, every time we roll it out, we love to play, love to show up. And like you mentioned, the fans out here got the skull chant going. You know, it felt like a home game by the end of it. Hey, go get warm. Thank you. Congratulations. Liam? Michelle, thanks. Felt like a home game. Well, let's take a look at that NFC playoff picture. Two of the six playoff spots are spoken for with the Vikings winning tonight. They now can clinch a first round bye with the Panthers loss tomorrow or by beating the Bears next week. The Eagles can clinch home field advantage with a win on Monday against the Raiders. Tomorrow, a big day for the teams in the NFC South. The Panthers can clinch a playoff berth with a win over the Bucks. The Saints host the Falcons. Saints can clinch a playoff berth with a win can clinch the division with a win and a Panthers loss. Meanwhile, the Falcons would clinch a playoff berth with a victory. And remember, they could still win the division if they win out. Out West, the Rams, they can take the division for the first time since 2003 with a win or a Seahawks loss. Seattle plays Dallas. Desperation tomorrow. The loser of that one is eliminated. Move on to the AFC. Headline today. Ravens being the Colts, they move into that five seed. Baltimore would clinch a playoff berth next week with a win. Things to watch tomorrow, let's tackle the simple scenarios. The Jaguars would win the AFC South with a victory or a Titans loss, while the Chiefs would win the West with a victory or a Chargers loss. The Steelers play Christmas Day against the Texans. If they win and the Jaguars lose tomorrow, Pittsburgh secures a first round bye. If the Patriots beat the Bills tomorrow and the Steelers and Jaguars lose this weekend, New England clinches home field. We get it. Lots of moving parts, which is why it should be such an exciting couple of days. Meanwhile, right here in Green Bay was the Vikings 16, the Packers nothing. Al Chris will wrap things up right after this. Welcome back to the Volkswagen SUVW Post Game Report. After reviewing the play, the receiver did not survive the ground. It's an incomplete pass. Intercepted by Harmon. He's got it. Launch into Harmon. And an interception in the end zone. You go from the top of the mountain right to the bottom. Well, you go from the top of the mountain and the number one seed to the number two seed. But now for Pittsburgh, the key is to at least hold on to that bye. And they can do that by beating Houston on Christmas Day. You'll see the game here on NBC with Mike Tirico and with Kurt Warner. Then they have Cleveland the following week. So they're in pretty good shape, but they still have to get by the Texans on Monday. Who knows? Yeah, and, you know, Jacksonville still breathing down their neck a little bit there because they do have that win over Pittsburgh. But you get the feeling the Pittsburgh Steelers, we've seen them bounce back too many times. They have too much talent on the offensive side. They're still going to be a tough team to beat. And letting go of James Harrison. 
today as well. I, you know, when you see the top end organizations making moves with players they love, and you know they love James Harrison there, all of a sudden now you start thinking, where might James Harrison go? We're going home now. I don't know what to say. <laughs> Write your own caption. Oh, you know, Santa's saying, we've got some work to do. You better yes. go home and take care of that cold. Yes, we do. <laughs> Minnesota wins it by a score of 16 to nothing. Coming up next, except to the West Coast, your local news. Al Michaels, Chris Collinsworth, Michelle Tafoya, our whole gang led by Fred Gadelli and Jurassic got down in the truck saying good night from Green Bay, Wisconsin. We leave you with a temperature at four degrees. Aloha. Aloha Nui.